Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Charles Uzel Edwards. And you'll see in Photopia, I've already opened up a photograph of myself. And the first thing I'm going to do is bring down the opacity to about 75% and create a new layer above the photo layer, which I'm going to work on. Okay, right. I'm going to use the free pen tool and make sure that the fill is black and the stroke is black and I also want to make sure that the tolerance is at about 50% okay right and now I'm going to start freehand drawing around my features but only really worrying about the darker bits so in this case, my eyelashes and my pupil and the corner of my eye and this set of lashes underneath here. And the tool will be a bit shaky as you do it, but have faith and a steady hand and it will smooth out as you draw each bit. Okay. And you can draw big bits, you can draw thinner lines, like these wrinkles here. And you just keep drawing whatever features you feel you want to add into your portrait. Okay, now to move on to my nose. Um, I would really keep the shapes to lines and edges rather than trying to get in whole big areas of tone. You really just want the bare minimum. So the real features and darker areas of your face and head. And I'm just going to help add to the form of my head by putting a bit of darkness down here by my neck. Maybe one line to delineate my neck from my head. And then I'm not going to worry about the whole lips. You might, um, if you wanted to colour your lips in a particular colour, you might go around your lips, but I'm just going to go for the inside of my lips. Right, next up, I'm going to do my beard. So I have zoomed in so I can see the whole of my beard and I've chosen the free pen tool again, but with a fill and stroke of a dark gray. And I'm just in the same way as the other shapes going round the whole of my beard in Quite a basic way, a bit cartoony. There we go, that's the whole thing. But of course I've uh, covered over my mouth, so what I want to do is just bring the beard right the way to the top layer. And then I'm going to uh, make it invisible so I can see what I'm going to cut out. And then I'm going to grab the free pen tool again, just zoom in. And I'm going to create a shape that is the inside of my beard, if you will. Okay. Here we are. Right. Next up, I'm going to click on that layer and rasterize it. So it turns it into a shape rather than a live shape. And I'm going to do that with my beard as well. Right click, rasterize. And I'm going to use the magic wand on the smaller shape to select it. I'm then going to go back to my beard layer and press delete and that's going to delete that area out of that beard shape. Okay, so that is my beard done and dusted. I'll just zoom out so you can see the whole thing. Next up I'm going to do my head. Okay, so 
slightly different this time. I'm going to use the pen tool rather than the free pen tool. Um, so it gives me a little bit more control. And I'm going to choose white for the fill and white for the stroke. And with the pen tool, you click and then drag to create the curve that you want. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. You get the idea. Okay. And I'm just going to do that around the whole of my head. And my ear as well. Click, drag, click, drag. Okay. And then down and around my t shirt collar. And then under my beard, at which point I can just cut straight round to the other side of my head and back up to the start point. Okay, right, zoom out. That is my head done. I'm just going to drag that down to below my other layers. And this is beginning to look like a portrait. Okay, next up, we're going to do my beard shadows. So I'm going to zoom into my beard again, and make sure I'm up the top layers wise. And I'm going to get rid of my beard and my face shapes, make them invisible for the time being. And then I'm going to use the free pen tool again with a black fill and a black stroke. And I'm going to begin to draw kind of shapes where I feel the darkest areas of my beard are. Okay. And this should be a bit fun. Obviously, if you have hair on the top of your head, this is the kind of thing you'll be doing on that rather than a beard. And you can do as many or as few as you like, as big or small as you like. The choice is yours. Okay, I think we're looking good. Right, now I can zoom out and I can put my um, beard back in and my face, if I find my beard, there it is. Okay. So next up, we need to turn my t-shirt into a color. So I'm gonna use the free pen tool again. And I think I'm gonna go with blue this time, this nice blue here. And then I'm gonna grab the free pen tool and just draw across my shoulders, across my face, and then down and around, and that creates that shape. So I'll just drag that down to the bottom, just above my photo, and there it is. And I'm gonna create a new layer, and I'm gonna make sure that layer's at the bottom, and I'm gonna do a background that is a nice pink color, maybe a bit darker than that, looks good. Grab my paint bucket tool, and fill that layer. And there we go, looking good. Okay, now next up, I want to do that drip that uh, the artist has on all of his pieces. So I'm gonna grab the rectangle shape tool, make sure the fill and stroke are black, and then I'm gonna draw that drip first. Okay, and I make sure that that is up the top. There it is, drag it up to the top layer, and then zoom on in. And I've drawn the drip first so that I know where to put the top of the drip. And I'm gonna do that using the 
free pen tool again. So grab the free pen tool and draw from the line. Oh, I tell you what I didn't do. You need to go up to tolerance and whack it right up because you want this shape to be very smooth and rounded. So starting again from the drip, going up and around and back down to the drip. And there it is. Okay. And that is my drip done and dusted. Okay. And I have one last thing I want to do. I've noticed that in a lot of the artist's work, the hair tends to have a kind of layered effect. So I'm going to duplicate the beard layer. I'm going to turn the top layer invisible for a minute. And I'm going to go to the bottom beard layer and go image adjustments, brightness and contrast and make it darker by turning the brightness down. Okay. I'm then going to go back to the top beard layer and make it visible. And I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit. And that makes a nice little effect where you've got a kind of double layered beard going on. Okay. That makes this piece done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.